Hello friends, my name is Pratik Tikar and in this video we will find stress deflection SFD BMD of cantilever beam in ANSYS APDL. Let's start. So first of all we will select preferences structure because our analysis is structural analysis Q processor element type add edit delete add select beam so we have two options 2 node 188 and 3 node 189 so 2 node 188 this beam is linear quadratic or cubic 2 node beam element it has 6 or 7 degree of freedom at each node 7th degree of freedom that is warping magnitude is optional whereas the third node 3 node 189 this beam is quadratic 3 node beam element so you can select any one of this but in this video we will, we will select 2 node 188 select material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropic because isotropic having physical property which has some value when measured in different direction so ex and prxy are the values of modulus of elasticity and poisson's ratio so ex is modulus of elasticity and prxy is the poisson's ratio so we will convert these modulus of elasticity in newton per mm square because other values like force is given in the newton section of beam and length is given in the mm so ex is equals to 20 e3 that is 20 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm and prxy is 0.3 okay close then select section beam common section breadth and height is given 10 by 10 mm here section of the beam 10 into 10 mm you can preview here see the beam of 10 by 10 ok select modeling create key points in active coordinate system our first key point is at origin so coordinate of the origin is 0 0 0 and second key point at 100 0 0 the length of the beam is given that is 100 mm line lines straight line select first key point and then second key point ok close the modeling option go to meshing mesh tool select set option in front of lines select line and number of division we want to divide into you can divide from 1 to finite in this video I entered 50 ok so as you can see it divide into 50 parts let's mesh it click on the mesh select line ok so you can view the numbering of the elements if you select your element number key points number on ok so you can see the number of elements that is 50 we will close mesh tool from here you can also use the cross section of the beam for that go to plot control size size and shape and display of element should be on so you can see here section of the beam will off the numbering
okay after machine click on the loads define load apply structural displacement on key point as we draw this beam with the help of key point so we select first key point all degree of freedom as you can see in the figure here boundary condition is fixed and at the free end there is a downward force of 1000 newton so click on the force key points select second key point ok the force in fy direction and it is downward so minus 1000 minus for the downward direction and 1000 is the magnitude now we will solve this structure so go to solution solve current load step ok solution is done now we will see a result so for that we will go in general post processor result review you can choose here you can select here stress one minus stress and plot result as you can see this is the stress structure or stress generated in the cantilever beam then select degree of freedom solution displacement vector sum this is the displacement in the cantilever beam you can uh, see here the different values with the color code why we select one mices because one mices is applicable for both ductile as well as brittle material now we can uh, go for the SFD and BMD for that click on the element table define table add by sequence number SMISC SMISC is the summable data and is specific to each element type so for BMD we will select 3 and 60 and for shear force diagram we will select 6 and 19 so 3 and 16 for the BMD and 6 and 19 for the SFD now we will go in the plot result control plot line element result in the first option it is already 3 selected we will select 16 here and we will see bending moment diagram similarly once again click on the line element result select 6 and 19 for the shear force diagram thank you